now I'm like, ugh, meh. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So sadly, today we have a decluttering video. And I say sadly for a reason. Um, as you know, I have moved again and one of like my biggest mistakes with specifically this place is not realizing how small the closets are and that I was going to have to make some really tough decisions with my clothing when moving here. I don't know, I just got mesmerized by the wood flooring that I didn't even realize how small the closets are and also how small this room is. I mean, it's not like the smallest room ever, but I definitely am going from quite a bigger space to quite a smaller space. And so as I was unpacking my clothes, I realized I just do not, I don't have room for them. I know I'm going to have to say goodbye to some pieces that I absolutely love, but maybe I just never really wear them. Maybe they fit odd on me, but there's just something about them that has caused me to keep them. And so this specific decluttering video is going to be the most like a ruthless one, especially because my videos a lot of times require me to thrift clothes so I can, you know, make different types of videos. So not only do I not have enough space for the clothes that I currently own, but for future videos, I definitely won't have any space for them. So it's also to kind of make way for any clothing I'm going to get for, you know, future videos and all that. I did already do kind of a little bit of a decluttering, but it was more like I put anything that would be a maybe just in a bag which is all right here. Because I needed to have room to even film this video, I had to start and take all the things that I'm already like, I'm not sure about and put it in the bag. But I'm also going to be tackling the things that I do already have like hung up, which I have my two big clothing racks. I have a little like drawer system. And then there is like a walk-in closet, but the way that they designed it actually makes it quite difficult to put clothes on there. And also there are a lot of spiders in this place and bugs because there's a lot of holes in the wall. So I don't really want to put clothing that's going to be touching the ground that that much so that also has posed a difficulty with this I know this intro was super long but I felt like I needed to set up the scene for what to expect in this video which is chaos and honestly a lot of sweat <laughs> oh I also have like a big luggage bag that also has shoes and clothes in it the first thing actually I totally forgot about this is my, I feel like this was my first sling bag. I love it so much and it's in really good condition, but like, I just really like my yellow one. This color is kind of bland. So I'm gonna, I think donate this. I could put it on my Poshmark, but I feel like it's almost a little bit more rewarding to know that someone's gonna find this at the thrift store. This dress I really love, but the chest is just too small on me. That's why it's like, I'm not going to even attempt to try it on. This dress, I think I will put on my Poshmark. It is so cute and so beautiful, but like truly, I have not worn it since I thrifted it. And I wanna say I thrifted it a year ago and I just have had no reason to wear it. And I love owning pieces, honestly, that are kind of like niche, but this one's like a little bit too much. Also the way it fits on me, it's a little bit too tight around the stomach. This dress I'm really sad about because I love it so much, but again, it's one of those things where like, because I don't have the space for a lot of clothing right now, I need to make some really tough decisions. I feel like I wore it in a video and it worked perfect for the video, but I'm like, when am I gonna wear this again? But like, it's something that I would want to make a reason to wear it, you know? This one is a maybe, cause I can't decide. <laughs> oh, these shoes, I'm really sad. They are a size 40 and on ThreadUp, it said that they were a size 10, but I believe a size 41 is a size US 10. Sometimes I can wear things that are a nine, but like usually it's like nine and a half to 10 and these are just so uncomfortable. Like they're so cute and I have worn them in videos just because they're really cute. And if they fit me, then I would keep them. But like, I'm never going to wear these for more than like five, 10 minutes. I'm just so frustrated because I was really excited about them. But yeah, I'm gonna put them on my Poshmark. This, I love it so much. It is such a cute 
little blazer. I mean, just the details on it, it's so fun. But again, I just really like, oh wow, should I keep this? <laughs> no! I have some other blazers I'm gonna say goodbye to. This is like one of those pieces that is so just unique and fun that sometimes you're like, oh, I just never wear it. But then it's like, when you try it on and you wear it, you're like, this is why I own this. I had so many ideas for, but I have not worn it. And it's like, am I going to wear it? Like, look at this. Look at how amazing this is. Should I keep it for a video where it's like styling things I never wear? Because I wanna wear this, but anytime I go to like decide to wear it, I never wear it. I don't know, I, just, I don't know, oh gosh. Honestly, I'm kind of in a weird place with my style lately. I don't know what my style is. I don't know what's going on <laughs> with just like dressing myself. So I feel like I'm kind of just in a weird place. No, I gotta say, I gotta say goodbye to it. I have to say goodbye. It's so cute, but like, I have to say goodbye to it. This dress I, I think got for a sponsored video with Red Up last fall and it's so cute. It's such a cute little maxi dress. It has like plaid on it, but I really haven't worn it since last fall fall and I just don't see myself wearing it this year because obviously it was gifted by thread up I am just going to donate it this dress if you remember my I think it was like trying a mystery box based on my Pinterest video from the company shop Suki LA I had gotten like a damaged item in that mystery box and so I emailed them and then like two months later they gave me a replacement piece and they asked me like what piece I would want instead and there was nothing on the site that I was really feeling and so I was like oh I'll take this sheer dress, um, but like I really don't <laughs> like it. Like it's fine, there's nothing bad about it, it just isn't something that I think I will really wear and I haven't worn because I think I got it like four months ago. This part, it's almost like a bib, and it's fine, but like I just really don't wear it. These black boots, I'm so sad to be getting rid of. I love all my shoes. I think my shoes, my sweatshirts, and my jeans are the three pieces in my closet that just like breaks my heart to say goodbye to you, which is, it, it's just clothing, it's just clothing. But also I think it's important to love the clothing that you have because then you value it more. And so it's really hard for me to say goodbye to them, as you can tell, even ones that don't fit me because I just love shoes. These were gifted to me by the company Aloha's and they are very cute. But I mean, I love a good square toe, but if I'm gonna wear black boots, I think I'm more, into my platforms. Oh, this dress, such a nice like little cottage quarry white dress, but I have another dress that's also like white, that's kind of cottage quarry. And again, because I need to minimize, it doesn't make sense to own two that they aren't exactly the same, but like I'd rather wear the other one. And then this one also, I really hate the button in the back, like trying to like put it on is the worst thing ever. I am going to put it on my Poshmark. Every single piece also has a memory because obviously with doing my YouTube channel, like I made videos with all of these and so it makes me really sad. Okay, I'm gonna stop getting like sad about saying goodbye to my clothing because we get it. It has to happen. Anyway, these florals are so beautiful. Like it's really cute, but then it's like, has this back and like, I'm just not really an open back type of person. It's a little bit too scandalous for me. I do have some sweatshirts, which I'm very sad about. First, this Stanford University sweatshirt. I've worn this so many times, but like I own so many gray sweatshirts. And so I had to be, you know, a little bit more brutal. I'm not very much a hoodie person. I own like two hoodies and I feel good with that. This zip up sweatshirt actually was my dad's. He gave it to me and you know, it's, it's Harley Davidson. It's really like fun and stuff. I have like one other gray zip up hoodie that I wear more. And so he told me I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm gonna put on my Poshmark. This black sweater I've had, I think since 2018. I kept it for such a long time because I was like, oh, it's good to own a black sweater. But if I'm gonna wear like a black sweater style, I'm just gonna wear a black crew neck. And I have so many black crew necks that I'm just kind of kept this for like, I feel like I should, but then I just never really wear it. 
So I am going to donate this. This yellow turtleneck I also got last fall and I love turtlenecks, but this one I just like, is really difficult to put on. So I am going to donate it. This gingham top originally from Urban Outfitters. I am going to put on my Poshmark. I really like it and I wear it all the time, but there's things about it that I, I just don't love the peplum. Like I'd rather just have a normal gingham top. So I'll say goodbye to that. This button up I also got, I think in that mystery thrift box and it's really cute, but I just find, especially on camera, it looks a little bit odd. And so it, I like don't wanna wear it on camera. And obviously with my clothing, I use it for my video. So it's kind of like, I just then never wear it. This sheer polka dot top. Oh, I have like worn this so many times. It's been such a nice piece to own, but truly I don't like wearing it. I don't know why, I just feel like it's not very me. It has worked for the videos that I needed to work or like outfits I need, but like I don't like wearing it. I feel like it's not really me, so I am going to say goodbye to that. This cute little yellow button up. <laughs> like I feel like it's just time. Like I love it and it's been there for me, but I think I need to say goodbye to it. I have another yellow sweater. Actually, I have two and I would rather wear those than this black sweater vest. It's just a little black crop top sweater vest. And I remember when I thrifted it, I was like, oh, I really want a black sweater vest. And then I ended up thrifting or maybe I got it in a mystery box, like an actual like proper black sweater vest. Cause this one I think is like from Forever 21. So it's just made a little bit different than the other one I got that's like made really nicely. And so I always go for that instead of this. So I am going to donate it, which also I'm going to say goodbye to this blue sweater vest as well. Will I? I don't know because I already have another blue sort of vest that I thrifted after I had gotten this one. This one actually fits really nicely so I think I am going to keep it. This skirt I actually just wore in an outfits video but it is so tight around my stomach that it just it just does not fit me. It isn't a small and with bottoms I can be like a small or a medium but like it's too tight. This skirt I do really love but I just feel like the colors and everything with it. I don't also like the fabric like it's a very it's almost see-through as well and it's just really thin that I end up just never really gravitating towards it. So I think I am going to put that on my Poshmark. Look at this cute little crop top. I, I love it but like it does not fit me. Like it says it's a small, honestly, I think it's like an extra small. It is so terrible to put on that like anytime I'm like, oh, I wanna wear this today. I get like halfway through putting it on my body and I'm like, absolutely not. I thrifted it on ThreadUp, I think for a sponsorship. So I didn't know obviously how it was going to fit and it just, it doesn't. This cute little polka dot button up but I really don't like the material. I thought when I thrifted it that it would be fine. That would be like, yeah, yeah, I like it. I wear it unbuttoned because I think I'm in a weird, like, I want a top to wear unbuttoned. Could I do that? But I don't know. The material is just very interesting. The material I really just like am not vibing with. And I think that's one thing kind of moving forward that I want to be more aware of, of like actually like feeling the fabric of things I'm thrifting. And so this just because of that, I just don't love it. This green button up I do like, but when I've worn it, I haven't liked it on me. I don't know if it's like the color just doesn't match well. I mean, it actually would probably look really good with these pants. Like actually, this could be a really cute look, but I feel like I would rather get a different green button up because this one, it just isn't fitting exactly how I want it to fit. This cute little pajama like cardigan is so nice. And I think maybe if I wore this kind of style more, then it would be great, but I have a sheer one. It's not similar, but it's like a similar style that I'd rather wear. And I got that after I thrifted this like months ago. So I think I am going to say goodbye to this. Again, it kills me, but I have so many sweater vests. I don't know if you, this is all sweater vests. It's not even just sweater, this is all sweater vests. And so I, again, I've had to make some tough decisions, but I'm also like, this would be really cute with these pants, but it is very highlightery. And when I thrifted it, 
I knew I shouldn't. I like it, but I'm not in love with it, but I think it's because it was 50% off. I was at Crossroads, which is kind of like Buffalo Exchange, Plato's Closet. I hadn't gone thrifting in a month because I sprained my ankle. I was in a vulnerable position and this got me. So I think I am going to put it on my Poshmark. I feel like red button ups every time I'm like, I should get one because I'm going to wear one. It's a, uh, it's something I need in my life. And then I just never wear it. So mm -mm, mm -mm. same thing with this green one I really love. I had gotten it in a thrift swap, but I just never wear it. And I really liked the texture when I first got it. And I've worn it so many times. Like I feel like I truly got so much wear out of it, but the collar, the collar just sticks up kind of weird and it's very annoying. So I think I am going to say goodbye to it. So <laughs> this bodysuit I just got, Ugh. in the iGirl thrift store maybe I should keep it for like a video like trying to style the things I got in that insanely expensive mystery box to my style because I only styled it based on the way that they told me to style it so I think I will actually keep this for right now some other shoes are my Nike Sage Air Forces and maybe I should keep them I feel like it's good to like these are good shoes to own to like hold on to because you can never go wrong with a white sneaker and then we have this button up that I recently got and again I feel like I always I'm just not sure what my style is I feel like I need to do a video trying to find my style again because I don't know what's happening I'm in a weird place maybe it's because mentally emotionally physically i've been in a chaotic space so i guess it makes sense that that my style is like like what is going on i'm gonna keep it because i see this with like jeans and like little white heels i do have some like just not really anything in that closet except for like camera equipment for right now until i like move stuff over but i think i am gonna say goodbye to these loafers i got on thread up i just don't know what i feel about with loafers i feel like i need to go to a store and try on loafers and then try to thrift them because I can't tell if I'm a loafers person or not. I just never, I just never go for it. So I'm gonna say goodbye to these. These, I'm so sad. I literally bought for summertime and then again, I hurt my ankle and I've been kind of scared to wear any of my platforms. I'm starting to get back into wearing them, but every time I'm like walking, I always think I'm gonna fall and then feel the pain that I felt when I sprained my ankle. Um, but I think by next summer, I will be good to wear these. I think these are good ones to wear and I never really got a chance to fully give them their time. Then I have just some Converse. I feel like these are nice shoes to kind of keep. I do have these three that were maybes that I forgot about. First is this mint cami. And honestly, I feel like I'm not into these camis anymore, which I don't understand why. Like I'm not gonna get say goodbye to all of them but like I just maybe it's because I don't want to wear a bra and like I can wear pasties and it's fine but like I don't know I just they're just not my favorite <laughs> anymore and it makes me sad this sweater vest I also just recently wore and I like it but it is kind of itchy and I didn't re realize how itchy it was until I just wore it and now I'm like Ugh. Meh. Again, this is where I'm like, what is my style? Like when I thrifted this, I was like, oh, royal core or princess core. I don't know, whatever the cores are. And I really thought this was going to be it, but it just, I just, I'm not wearing it. So I think I am going to say goodbye to it. So that was everything that was in my maybe pile. Let me just show you how it's going. So everything right here is what I am gonna be putting on Poshmark and then this one is gonna be donated. I'm going to go through my racks. I don't really have that much on it anymore, to be honest, because I've moved stuff over, which we'll get to, I'm telling you, but I just wanna see if there's anything in here that I am not like feeling. I really don't wanna take my top off to try anything on, but I feel like there's gonna be some pieces where I'm gonna to have to try it on. This one, I've worn it so many times and I do really love it and it's a really good layering piece. So I think I am going to keep it actually, but I do have it in black and the black one, I just really don't wear. It's really cute, but I have another black one that I'd rather wear that's very different, but I just feel like 
I can style it a little bit better. So I think I am gonna put this one on my Poshmark. It's originally from Charlie Holiday. I think it was like a hundred dollars on Lisa Says Gaw, which makes me so sad, but like I need, I need to say goodbye to it. I feel like I need to decide between both of these. They're very different. They're two white button-ups. This one has little pearls on it and this one does not. Between both of them, I feel like I need to choose. This one, I feel like goes with the vibe that I would want if I was wearing a white button up. But this one has pearls and it's beautiful. But like I said, I'm having a weird time with button ups right now. So I feel like I should say goodbye to it. This I love so much. It is so just cute. Yeah, definitely keepy. This dress I also recently thrifted, which makes me so angry. And I'm gonna say goodbye to it only because I did not realize when I thrifted it that it's quite tight in the stomach area. And I would say, it's not that I like super like loose dresses, but there's like, it depends. And I feel like with this material, it just, when I wore it in the try on portion of that video, which I did the try on portion after I did the actual haul portion, I was like, oh, I really don't feel comfortable in this, which is just one of those things, especially with thrift stores not having dressing rooms where you don't really know what it's gonna fit like until you try it on. And so kind of a bummer because I love, love the pattern. This dress I'm actually feeling quite conflicted about because I love it a lot, but wearing it, is kind of difficult. I didn't realize how short it was and so I have to wear something under and I feel like it takes away from what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to fit more like this and it doesn't. It's, as you can see, very different lengths. And so I think that's just on me for not realizing how short it was. Okay, I feel good about everything on this rack. All my denim and my sweater vest I've already gone through and I'm not touching. I think I'm going to go through this suitcase of clothing. I think I just have like my leather jackets in there and then maybe like some shoes. Definitely have some jackets. Oh, this jacket. Oh my gosh. Don't make me say goodbye to it. It's so nice. This is such a nice jacket. It is so comfy. Oh, my jackets. Okay, I guess my denim, my sweatshirts, my shoes and my jackets are actually the four categories that I have the hardest time saying goodbye to. This Disney one, obviously I'm going to keep. Leather blazer, I can't wait until I can finally wear it. Again, I miss it so much. Then this one that I literally paid $100 to get dry cleaned. I can't wait to wear it. Unfortunately though, I need to like hand sew the inside because I don't know if it was the dry cleaning place that did this or when I thrifted it, it was already like this, but there's like big holes, almost like somebody cut in there to get out the shoulder pads and I didn't realize it when I thrifted it. And I paid $20 at the thrift store for it and then $100 to get it dry cleaned. Wasn't the best idea. I think I am gonna say goodbye to these Nine West boots that were my first like long pair of boots, but like I have other long boots that I prefer and so then I end up never wearing these. These cute little heels, I love them so much, but I really hate putting them on. Like trying to do the buckle is such a freaking hassle. These Converse, John actually got me, I think in 2015, 2014, when we like first started dating, which is crazy. And I think I keep them for sentimental reasons. He is definitely a minimalist, so I feel like he would tell me to get rid of them, but I've kept them because of him, but I feel like I should say goodbye to them. These Michael Kors heels, yes, 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 obviously. I literally was filming for like five minutes and I realized I didn't hit record, so. Onto my storage boxes. I am not going through my other clothing rack just because I feel good with it. In here, I have some random pieces. There's like bathing suits and like my pajamas, but I also have bottoms in here that either it is just easier to put in here, saves me storage with my closet. I would love to own a proper like furniture clothing drawer set like I did two other places that I lived, that was really, really nice. But because we obviously are renting, I don't wanna have to like move a massive piece of furniture because a lot of them are very like big. So that's why I have these. I've had them for like over a year now and they're just, you know, they, they do what they need to do. First, we have this skirt that I recently thrifted. It doesn't fit me. Again, I feel like 
With the denim and stuff, I'm usually so good with actually sizing at the thrift store, but this I was like, it'll fit and it fits, but it's just not very comfortable. These white pants, I feel like I'm gonna say goodbye to them. When I first started getting into trousers, these were like my very first trousers, and so they have a special place in my heart, but number one, they don't have belt loops, which is like, if there aren't any belt loops, that instantly makes me dislike the pant. And because they are slightly loose on my waist too, it's just like, ugh. And I feel like I tried Big Bud Press trousers and like my life has changed. I now only want trousers that are from them because they fit so perfectly that then when I wear these, they just don't feel very comfortable and they don't fit how I want them to fit. So even though I love them so much and they've really like been there for me for so many years, I think it is time to say goodbye. I can't tell if I should keep this. It's such a nice like staple like piece to own. I think I will. The hard part is like I still want some like funky items that maybe I don't wear all the time, but they do have a place like in my wardrobe. Okay, these are amazing. They are these guest shorts that I thrifted. <sighs> Yeah, I feel like these are a good piece to own. Like, they fit me nice, and I just didn't really wear them this summer, but just because I didn't wear them this summer doesn't mean I don't love them. I just didn't get a chance, so I am gonna keep them. Okay, definitely still quite, <laughs> quite stuffed, but that's about it. I have an entire drawer that's full of, like, Christmas sweaters, which I'm keeping them all, so I think we're good on that. Now let's go into the actual closet. This closet lighting is so, so bad. Um, yeah, so this closet definitely needs to be repainted. You can't really tell, um, but there's so many black marks and like dents in the wall. So I will have to take everything out for, I guess, them to paint. I said I would paint it, but they were like, no, we want to paint it. But anyway, um, I do have this like weird bookshelf thing. Honestly, I feel like it's going to fall down at any point, but I guess I can use it for like my shoes and different stuff. So this will be another area I will use for storage. But we have here, we have the jackets. We have some just random stuff. Honestly, it's not categorized. I just kind of threw it in. Um, but where can we start? I think honestly, I have this. Oh, wow. Okay, the lighting is so bad. Let me see. Is that better? That's better. That's a little better. I have this beautiful blazer. I do love blazers. Okay, I'm definitely keeping it. This is why you try stuff on, or maybe why you don't try stuff on, because then you're like, oh my gosh, I actually really love it. I'm gonna keep it. So yeah, definitely keeping this. This denim jacket, it's like cropped. I really never wear it. I thrifted it when I went to the UK, and so it has sentimental things. So I think I am gonna keep it because I feel like owning a crop denim jacket, if you already own it, it does have a place. Do I say goodbye to it? I don't know, it's really nice. I feel like I should keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I think I am gonna say goodbye to this. It's like this really nice trench coat, and I really love it, but I just like, it's very thin. I mean, it would be really good for fall time. Oh gosh. Oh no. I feel so cool in it. I have to keep it. Okay, you know what? Something I am gonna say goodbye to is this biker jacket, originally from Forever 21 that I thrifted, I think last year. I do love it, but I really just never wear it. It's only for like some videos. And even then I'd rather just wear my leather blazer. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this. I feel like I need to choose between these two. Number one, cause they're both really thick but also because they're really similar. This one I got last year for a thread of sponsorship. It is originally Shein, whereas this one I got on Depop for like $70 and it's originally H&M. And I would say this one's definitely way better quality, but this one's really cute. But I feel like as a Southern California person, not only do I not necessarily need all these jackets, but I definitely don't need two that are very, very similar, but they are different in my opinion. But I also need to let go and I got this one first and then because I got this one and I was like I don't really love the fit I got this one and so I prefer the fit on this one so I think that answers my question that I need to say goodbye to this I basically did not make a dent in my <laughs> jackets at all I think I am gonna say goodbye to this bustier top it's so cute but like it's cute probably on someone else like 
I've worn it a couple of times and every time I'm like this is cute but like it's really not me this little cami this orange cami is so cute but like I said I'm just really not wearing camis I am keeping some camis like this green cami is my absolute favorite I also have a pink cami that I'm keeping but some of these other ones I'm like I just really I feel like I bought because I was like I love camis and something I'm trying to work on is just because I like one thing doesn't mean I need to get it in every single different color also this bustier like top I love it it's a little lace but I feel like it's time for me to say goodbye to it I'm also trying to pay attention to the pieces when I'm picking them up how I feel about them and if I'm like I just don't feel anything for it so I'm like goodbye. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this top originally from Brandy Melville. It's nice but I've like worn it once and it's just like I don't really like the fit honestly. I love my Eeyore t-shirt. I like wearing them like they're really cute but I feel like the fit is a little bit off on me and I feel my overall overall fit the type of fit I want for overalls I'm just not sure and so I feel like I'd rather wait until I find the actual like pair that I really want okay so I actually need help with well I would have already made the decision maybe but okay so I have this beautiful lawn dress that is amazing um but then I also have this one and they basically are the same do I really need to own two of them no, but they both are kind of different, but also kind of the same. I feel like I like this one better. It has better details. So this is everything I think from my closet that I'm saying goodbye to. Honestly, I'm pretty proud. Although I will say it almost seems like I didn't get rid of anything just because it's still like pretty packed in here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have three bags. The Ikea one is everything I'm gonna put on my Poshmark, and then the two trash bags is everything I'm going to be donating, and I'm really sad, honestly, like really sad to be saying goodbye to any of them, but I feel also good in that like, I'm kind of going through an interesting transitional period. I feel like I need to let go of the pieces that I know just aren't bringing me joy. And I've definitely stopped doing, you know, many declutters. Honestly, I feel like I've been holding on to a lot of clothing because it has served me really well for like styling videos. And I think moving forward, I'm kind of just want to figure out a better system when it comes to the things I'm purchasing. And even though every single piece in there, when I thrifted it, I absolutely loved it. It just isn't working for me anymore. And I feel like someone else will get way more wear out of it. And I definitely feel like this weight kind of off of me, even though I still definitely own a, a lot of clothes. It's not like I got rid of everything, but I feel pretty good. Again, I will have my Poshmark and everything linked right down below. And if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is Alex and Giant 83 I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.